we have got um, things sorted, so Danny has now got the pits in the front hangar. Um, so I had to take him back so that he could collect his car. He was talking about flying back and then getting somebody to drop him there tomorrow, etc, etc. But actually that was just far too complicated. So I said, well, why don't I just run you back? Um, and uh, yeah, it was nice to have a different passenger. Oh, I have to say, not very pleased with that landing. It was atrocious. I think basically I panicked a little bit because I knew that it was a very narrow. I also was um, very high, so I put the air brake down, but I think I put the air brake down too soon. And because I sort of put it down too soon, I then actually had to put power on in order to make the threshold. And because I then had to make the threshold with power on, I was then travelling faster than I would normally do. <coughs> but the strange thing was, it did uh, hit quite a big sort of sink there. Um. My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. fighting with it. Like okay. Ready for brakes off? Yeah, brakes can come off. Yeah, I do the um, do the stuffing for uh, with war, ultimate warbirds now, so we've got a clacker. So when we, uh, we're oh, right. about to close the canopy, so we, uh, this is uh, John on his Spitfire flight. Yeah. Chuk -chuk, the clapper. <laughs> oh, great. That lets them sink it in, sink the the flights and the, and the, uh, the sound. Yeah. It then it helps. Well, I mean, at the moment, this is two cameras. Yep. Occasionally, I've got the one under the wing, but it just takes longer. Oh, okay. to, takes longer to set up. Yeah. You haven't invested in a 360 yet. No. To be quite honest, sometimes I don't like some of the shots people yeah. use with them. What do you mean? Yeah. I tend to be rather old-fashioned, but you know, it's what you. It's Absolutely. What you do. If it's working. Yeah. Pointless changing it. We have got some lime you probably saw in the club. I there. saw that, yes. What are you going to do with that? Well, we're we going to mark them out again? Yeah, oh, okay. to do some edge markers. Yeah, I thought about that the other day, to be fair. Seeing how much a half a tonne of chalk would be or something. Yeah. Pick it up on my tipper. Well, as I say, I think there's enough there because you only need a, a blob here and there. Yes, you do, yeah. Um, that right breaks a little bit... Sticky? A little bit sleepy today. Oh, is it? Yeah. Working as well. Yeah. Little pump. The brakes on your side, then, Tim, are they? Um, the you've got brakes. brakes on the end of the rudder movement. Oh, I, oh, I say, yes, yeah, yeah. Being a and Nayland traffic golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is rolling. Nayland traffic. Same as the DR400. You kind of go for and it sort of locks that wheel up or yeah. whatever. Accelerates quite well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, not bad. It was not too bad. 90 degrees different to what it was when we taxied to the top of the hill. It was. <laughs> well, I landed on a headwind and we just took off on a... Yeah. On a headwind as well. Nice to be able to see where you're going because well, you can't see anything out of the pits. So you barely uh, you can just you know, see bits out the side and a little bit out the front, but not a lot. That's the air conditioning. It's <laughs> brilliant. Now the view from this is very nice. It's lovely. Nice to fly something more civilised for once. <laughs> Have a selfie tip, do we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely little thing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to think the last time. I, I cannot remember the last time I flew in this. <laughs> I must have yeah. been. Long Lucky. time. Long time ago, yeah. yeah. It's brilliant as well, isn't it? It's got so many mod cons. <laughs> well, yeah. The pits I are mean, either freezing or boiling in it. Yeah, I mean we we do have a problem with the uh, with the heater, in as much as it does tend to cook you whatever you <laughs> yeah. whatever you're doing. Yep. 
I suppose you can sort of work it out yourself now, can't Pretty you? Pretty much, Tim, yeah, it's quite airy, that's why I mean, but it's kind of... A little bit more to the right. Yeah, so you can kind of see Earl's cone. Let me have final zero six. It creeps up on you, all of a sudden it's there. Yeah. Go for me, Richard. Pretty much on the nose now, mate. Yeah. Worming for flying today, yep. Gliders up. I haven't seen, uh, there's, they are launching. They what, yeah. But well, I haven't I, seen any. No, when I came past they were launching, but I've, our base is quite low still, isn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to keep this way just a little bit. Yeah. Because I think deep down I need to be slightly more to the right, don't I? Um, yeah, it's kind of, once you leave Worming, but it's kind of that way. Yeah. Is it Earl's Cone Radio? It is, yeah. Yeah. Earl's Cone Radio, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel. Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, this is Earl's Cone Radio, uh, Park Message. Uh, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is a Jodel DR 1050 inbound to you from uh, Mayland with four miles to run. Golf Echo, uh, um, Echo Hotel, are you um, Danny's um, rescue squad? I am, yes, I am. Uh, what's the captain's surname, please? Palmer. Thank you, uh, Golf Echo Hotel, runway 06, right hand circuit, QNH 1026, QSE 1018. 1026, 1028, and that's uh, 06, right hand, Golf Echo Hotel. And Golf Echo Hotel, QSE is 1018. 1018, uh, Golf Echo Hotel. Got that wrong? Okay. Just there, Tim, you got it? And Golf Alpha Romeo, what's your position, please? Uh, runway vacated, Golf Alpha Romeo. Yeah, just seeing you, thank you. As you say, it creeps up fairly quickly. All of a sudden it does, yeah, it appears, it's kind of, it appears out of the, uh, at the trees. Yeah. I always aim for that place, but just, oh, it's cone. Elf 10 Radio, Golf Echo Charlie, Alpha Foxtrot inbound. Golf Echo Charlie, Alpha Foxtrot, this is Elf Cone Radio, pass your message. Golf Echo Charlie, Alpha Foxtrot, North Beam, Colchester, altitude 1600, uh, request airfield information. Golf Echo Foxtrot, runway 06, right hand circuit, QNH 1026, QSC 1018. Golf Echo Hotel is downwind right hand 06. Golf Echo Hotel, Roger. You roll right to the end, Tim, then come off right and then taxi way out of the, the hangar's just on the left. Too. Okay. I can jump out while it's running or you can stop it, it's up to you. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm happy to do it, if you're happy to do it running. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, you can then off you go again. What's the length of it? Uh, about 800 metres. All oh, right. Probably land, take off and land again. <laughs> And you say it's got to be the tarmac? They are tarmac today, yeah, the yeah. grass is a bit boggy still at the moment. Okay. It's not very wide, is it? It's not, no, you can't see it, barely see it when you're in the pits. Yeah. You just have to stick to one side and keep your eye on it, but it's pretty much down the runway at the moment. Okay. Air brake coming Air down. Air brake on. <laughs> Which is very much like a barn door. Yeah. Golf Echo Hotel Final 06. Golf Echo Hotel Roger 17 Light and Variable. Trouble with the air brake, once you're down, yep. it likes to really drop you in. Okay, yeah. Bit hard. Hold up. Uh, stay on the runway. 
Golf Alpha Foxtrot entering the ATZ from the east. That was weird because that actually just suddenly yeah, dropped me that way. You always get a bit of a dump coming through there. You say you go right to the very end. Right to the end, to the end. Take a right and then it taxi you back. That way we'll just pull up outside the hangar. Okay. Been cutting the grass today. And you, and you say that you'll be driving over straight away. Yeah, I'll just drive straight back and then I put the covers on the pit. Put it to bed. I'll race you back. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sort of bit of a juggling act because you've got independent braking, yep. but you've also got to give it a little bit of a support with okay. with this. You should come down. She came round all right then. Yeah. Go past the top. Cut downwind. Help the, the throttle creeps a little bit on it to yeah. give you a bit to go round. So you haven't got. Yeah, I, I should in fact. I should in fact have locked it a little bit, okay. but I also like to have freedom of movement. Yes, yeah. Ten degrees down. Oh, okay. Uh, fire one to uh, Danny at hangar seven. Danny, are you in the Joe Dell? Affirmative. Uh, unfortunately, he hasn't. Uh, <laughs> he hasn't got a mic, so it's down through me. Um, has he got the key to Hangar Seven? My key, yeah. He says he has. Yes, he's got his key. Uh, Danny, can you stop at Hangar Seven and give it to Nigel? We need to get in there ASAP. That's where we're going. That's where we're off to. Thank you. Sorry, Carolyn. Golf Alpha Foxtrot, final 06. Golf Alpha Kilo, entering the ACZ, we'll be joining downwind to 06. Golf Alpha Kilo, Roger. What you want me to do, just pull off. Could do, Tim, yeah, just pull over there and then I'll just jump out, mate. Groups a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Super job. Okay. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that, Tim. Not a problem, I'll see you in a I'll few minutes. I'll catch up, yeah, I'll see you soon. Yeah. And it's just right the way down to the end of here, is it? Yeah. All right. Nah. This throttle is being a right pain. Yeah, okay then. You're right. Uh, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is taxiing for departure. Return to Nayland. Golf uh, Echo Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, the one way still zero six right hand circuit, QNH 1026. 1026 and uh, 06. Golf Echo Hotel. Golf Echo Hotel, Bay of Fires, we've got one aircraft in the circuit, last reported downwind. Uh, Golf Echo Hotel is uh, checks complete and ready for an immediate. Golf Echo Hotel, Roger. Golf Cone Radio, Golf Bravo, Charlie, Foxtrot, Romeo, requesting radio check, 122, decimal 430. Golf Bravo, Charlie, Foxtrot, Romeo, this is Golf Cone Radio, Parish message. Golf Bravo, Charlie, Foxtrot, Romeo, requesting airborne information for circuits. Uh, we're opposite the new hangars, Captain is Parbury and one passenger. Golf Foxtrot, Romeo, runway 06, right hand circuit, QNH 1026, QFE 1018. 1026, 1018, and 06 right hand circuit. Golf Foxtrot Romeo. Golf 
Alpha Kilo, final zero six. Golf Alpha Kilo, Roger, set us in light and variable. Golf Alpha Kilo. Okay, radio, Golf Bravo, X ray, Vic Yankee, two miles northeast, Chelmsford, inbound, full stop, quest join. Golf Bravo, X ray, Vic Yankee, this is Source Code Radio, runway 06, right hand circuit, QNH 1026, QFE 1018. Runway 06, right hand circuit 1026, Golf Echo Hotel, it is Golf Echo Hotel, it is clear to the east and changing frequency to safety comp. One three five four eight zero. Thank you very much. Bye. Um, so, yeah, uh, it'd be nice to have another aircraft over at the airfield. Um, I'm looking to see. I think Wiz is still there. So that will be nice. I did come away without really speaking to him. Um, so I might be back in time for a cup of tea and a chat with him. But he's dog with him, which is rather nice. And I think uh, Wib, I think the D18 is still out. I know that Chris has had two flights today. Um, well, we've had a move around. We put the Luton in the back hangar because it's not going to fly for some time. Uh, but I'm just doing the standard long way around the village. I could have flown overhead, but I mean, the trouble is, Earl's Cone is such a short trip. I mean, according to the... Um, microphone according to the recorder um, I've only been recording for 28 minutes and I did some of that on the ground um, and there was quite a long taxi round at Earl's Cone although I have to say brakes were not being super brilliant but what I did find is when I was having troubles trying to get a right brake in I got more right brake, I mean it's standard, I got more right brake by pulling the, the handbrake on as well, which tightened it up a little bit. But no, I wasn't particularly good on that. And I have to say, for the first time, when I did put the rudder in to try and correct that, that drop, um, I did get quite a twinge in the hip, so it's probably the field, so it's a good Yankee thing to think that uh, um, the southern railway. I've only got a few more days before I have my operation, although that will mean I'm going to have to have six weeks. Well, I don't know whether it is six weeks or it's up to six weeks, but. We shall see. Mainland traffic, Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead. Mainland traffic. Just make sure I could do a better job of landing here. Hello. You look across Mersey Way, it looks like it's raining. Really weird. Yesterday was absolutely crystal clear and very, very nice. They promised a day very, very similar, uh, but pulled the curtains back this morning at 7 o'clock. It was thick fog. Okay. Hatches, harness, air brake. Brakes are off, fuel pump is on, I'm on the front tank. Air brake came down and came back up again. Nailand traffic of Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel, final Nailand traffic. The Right-hand crosswind has turned into a 
quartering crosswind tailwind but it's of no great speed Why couldn't I do that there? That's the question. <laughs> 